Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain three different ways to release electric parking brake uh, that can be helpful when you guys want to change the rear brake pads. So the first way that I'm going to explain is how to release the electric parking brake with a scan tool. So if you have the scan tool, this is the easiest and the quickest way to release the parking brake. And I'm going to show you how to do it. If you don't have the scan tool, in this video, I'm going to show you two other ways to release the electric parking brake without the scan tool. Uh, so I have this Kia Optima uh, 2018 in here. Uh, I have already connected my scan tool to the OBD2 connector. So select your car first, Kia Export, uh, Optima. This is Optima JF 2018. Uh, then look for electric parking brake just right here. Connect to the system. Okay. So for some cars on some Hyundai and Kia, you have a special function in here and that's named pad change mode pad change mode so you can use that option on some others like this car you need to go to actuator test and you have some options for maintenance so you see for the maintenance you have release and apply for right hand release and apply for the left hand and these two the last the number five and six they are for the cable type because kia and hyundai they, uh, they have actually two different types of electric parking brake uh, and different models. Normally on the Kia Optima, they have caliper type, but on some cars like uh, Genesis, uh, they have used uh, the cable type electric parking brake. So this one is the caliper type. So first of all, you need to make sure the parking brake is released. Okay, the parking brake is already released and I need to go for, for example, for the right one, caliper type, I select it. Okay, this is for releasing. And then the condition is ignition switch on, no DTC. Okay, if I click OK. So I can hear the uh, actuator on rear right already operated. So ready for uh, pushing back the piston and uh, replacing the brake pads. So after, after replacement, you can do the same thing for the left side when you're replacing that one. Uh, obviously for some models, you, you don't need uh, to do that one by one for the rear left and rear right. Normally there's one option for both uh, wheels on the rear side. After changing the brake pad, you just need to uh, select uh, apply and Press OK. Again, I can hear the actuator operation. Okay, that's it. So this one is gonna is gonna release or is gonna apply the parking brake to give you some room to push the piston back uh, when you are replacing the rear brake pads. The second step is to provide the battery positive and negative on the actuator itself if you don't have the scan tool. For doing this, you can provide the battery positive and negative on the actuator. And to do it very safely, I'm using actually a 9 volts battery with a switch and these two clamps. So what I'm going to do, I can provide the battery, and battery positive and negative right on these two. Of course, when it, it's on the car, I just removed it to, to show you the proper procedure. So you, so you don't need to remove the caliper, you just do it on the car. And when I turn the switch on, you will hear the actuator operation. You basically activate the actuator with this and the actuator is gonna go back, then you can push the piston in. And after replacing the brake pads, you need to change the polarity just what, just like what I'm doing.
and then when you change the polarity you need to activate the actuator again to push it back in to put it back in the place and i turn it on again so the actuator operated properly this is very safe way to actuate the actuator to release the parking brake if you don't have the scan tool and the third step is when you don't have the scan tool and when you don't have anything like this or just two pieces of wires to activate the actuator you can actually remove the actuator assembly and you can release the parking brake manually so for doing that i need to remove these two bolts just make sure you are not damaging the actuator itself so this is the actuator basically when you are operating the actuator you are rotating this end which is going to sit over here all right so basically by actuating the actuator you are turning this section so if you don't have any wire or anything to actuate the actuator itself you can rotate this one manually and you just need to grab your sockets if you turn this one counterclockwise you are actually retracting the actuator so fine when i rotate this one just like this counterclockwise i'm actually releasing the parking brake so you see there's some room for the actuator to go back in when i turn it counterclockwise and after replacing the parking brake if you want to do it manually you can just turn it clockwise so again uh three different ways the first way was just using the scan tool as i showed you at the beginning of the video the second one was providing the battery positive and negative on the actuator when the actuator is connected over here you can actually turn this one to uh to release the parking brake and the third one if you don't have anything you have to remove the actuator itself to do it manually from over here thank you very much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video